Yeah, ready. Yeah. Yeah. Right, good afternoon. It's Carl Hall for Boxing UK and Punch Out Boxing. I'm delighted to be at the Hilton in Newcastle. Um, I will just get this out of the way. Massive fan, massive Newcastle fan. Yeah. Season ticket yeah. holder myself. Yeah. Let's just get it out of the way first of all, mate. Gutted? Yeah, a little bit late. I mean, I was giving it the big end, saying we're going to win 3 1 and all sorts. And then um, BB2. Do you know what I don't think either side played good, but neither side played bad. It was just like a mediocre game, really, wasn't it? It was hard to watch actually towards the end, but. I think that's the one of many for us. Like, you know, yeah. we're, we're going to be up there, so just enjoy the ride, isn't it? Definitely. It was uh, the atmosphere down there was incredible. Where did you watch it yourself? Was it up there? I just watched it in the house. I had a uh, the group chat. I had um, all, they all bought the in a hospitality tickets. Yeah. Give it the big one. And uh, my fight was going to be the Saturday last Saturday. Then I was going to just get the train down on the Sunday and get the ticket. But obviously couldn't because of the because of the because uh, of the fight being pushed back a week. So in the in the comfort of your home, me two little girls. Yeah, fair play, mate. I mean, like you said, I think it's definitely going to be one of many. Um, we'll come on to the fans shortly as well, because obviously I'm sure thousands of them are going to be supporting you on the weekend as well. How was it to see the club just come and the city coming completely in a way? It's mad, isn't it? It just, like, it just feels a different city, doesn't it? Yeah. Mad how, what, a, what a game of football can do to yeah. actual a city in general. Just, everyone seems to be buzzing, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, even though we've had like, a little bit of a lull at the minute with the football, like... Hasn't seemed like thingy anyone. Everyone's still like, happy, go look you aren't So we're just a working class city, aren't we? Like yourself. So it's uh, it's nice to get a bit of rules with the football because it's a bit everything up here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, huge fight on the weekend between you and O'Hara Davies, of course. Um, world title eliminator. How are you seeing that? No, I feel good. I say I like obviously see Lewis Richardson win. Do you know you don't take these fights not to think that you can't win them. Yeah. Uh, obviously the same with him. You no, know, we do think we can get him out there. Roll back the old loose a little bit. Uh, you know, not not gonna just dive straight in like we used to, but you know, be a bit more sensible of it, but yeah. be a lot more on the front foot than what we'll have the last couple of fights in uh, Yeah, you know I keep mentioning a little bit quick then, but you quit once you'll quit again, do you know what I mean? When the goal gets tough, so and that's that's what we think. Definitely, I mean, I'm not sure if you've seen obviously he's talked about your lack of power in his words and um, we'll get to that in a second, but one thing that's actually been complimentary on is the fact that he needs to up his work rate and his punch output to um, to even compete with you. He said that in, in, in interviews very recently. Are you aware of that? Is it something that you've been working on in the gym to keep the pressure on that way? Or? No, yeah, well, uh, we'll have it. I, you know, I don't watch interviews, but a few people have said that you had mentioned that in there. Uh, Weaver's got to watch his big backhand, you know, so yeah. he's got a very big, dangerous uh, backhand, and we don't want to be hit off at any time, really. Um, so we've got to learn how to get in there without getting hit off it and just work them, do you know what I mean? Um, hopefully, he does, so it'll be a bit more entertaining than the last couple, because, you know, like, the last, sometimes it's hard to watch him, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. he is awkward, he is a bit. Uh, you know, relies on it and, and, and it does put people off. I think it's fair to say that you, both of your trajectories have been quite similar. Um, where does this leave the loser in, in terms of not coming out with a win on Saturday? Obviously, there's the world title, obviously, and then after that, bigger fights. Is that the end for, in terms of those big fights, you think? No, I think we've got, like, look at the domestic scene at the minute, you know, it's bouncing with a few lads down there. Um, the European title, I think, I was, I've mentioned it a few times today, I think the French lad that's got it, we were going to fight him as a warm fight, and not the Mexican that we thought yeah. first I'd be off on, so they're all winnable fights out there, but I think you know, it's the world level and, and fighting the top, top lads is, is completely out of it, you know, I, I believe me and Ohara are like on the fringe level, uh, and the one that wins is still go up to be able to test yourself at the elite level, you know, and, yes. uh, and if, you, if we don't do that then there's nothing wrong with that, but we've just got to evaluate your plans a little bit, and I think the loser will have a lot to think about on Sunday morning. He's, like I said, he mentioned about your lack of power in his words. What's your immediate response to that? No, well, listen, <laughs> I, I, I know I've got to, I carry a little bit of pop in there. So, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see, you know, he, I've got to take his, but I think he's just completely ruled out he's got to take mine as well. We don't know what he's going to be like when he takes a flush one on the chin, so uh, we know that he's a power puncher. So if we get hurt in front of his shots, we're not going to panic, we're not going to, right, we knew this was coming where, by the sounds of it, he doesn't think so the same way, so we'll let Adam we'll put on him and see what he feels when he feels on. Looking forward to seeing that. I think one massive thing that he's been speaking about is the fact that he's happy to go to people's backyards and he's got the business done, etc, etc, talked about fans in Liverpool. It's a different breed up here, isn't, isn't it, to be fair? How much do you think your fans are going to affect the, the atmosphere and, and the utility? Yeah, well, you know, 
know, hopefully they make good loud noise. Like, uh, the show hasn't been promoted really great, you know, like not many people actually know what's going on, so probably not be as many in there as usual, but the ones that are in there will make a good, good loud noise in there. And yeah, it'll, it'll be nice to hear that roll again, you know, and uh, we'll see how he deals with it. Finally, I know you might not give me a straight answer, but you're going to knock him off on Saturday. It's an always written win, it's always <laughs> saying. Uh, Lewis, good luck, mate, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers, thank you. Cheers Lewis. <laughs>